Welcome to Bank Dubinary's Ahead of the Week report, covering the world's major investment events to help traders prepare their calendar. Here's a quick recap of the main asset trends from last week. The euro was up on strong German data. The USD was down pressured by market uncertainty over the Federal Reserve's interest rate decision. The GBP was down as investors shrugged off the better than expected quarterly GDP result. Gold was up after the Federal Reserve left interest rates unchanged, triggering doubts over the global economy. Oil was down weighed by the major oversupply. The trading event of the week is on Friday, August the 5th, where the non-farm payroll figures for July are released. This massive trading event is likely to cause a knock-on effect on gold and the USD. Monday's the first trading day of August and the US dollar is in sharp focus at 1400 with the release of the ISM manufacturing PMI for July. Traders are agonising over whether the US economy has recovered and are instantly reactive to any upside or downside surprises. Last seen at the level of 53.2, the ISM benchmark is an unmissable event for USD traders. The Reserve Bank of Australia's interest rate decision at 04.30 on Tuesday could move the AUD up or down depending on whether the central bank makes a cut this time around. The speculation that low inflation results may force the RBA's hand, so it's definitely an event to add to your watch list. Wednesday's investment highlight is at 0800 when market releases the latest services PMI for the Eurozone. Last seen at the level of 52.9, investors are watching this indicator to see if the Brexit has impacted confidence in the services sector. There could be an impact on the euro, depending on the results. The Bank of England takes a spotlight on Thursday when it releases its interest rate decision at 11 o'clock. Following the Brexit crisis, the central bank is expected to ease its policy in the near future and the markets are speculating that it will be sooner rather than later. The GBP is extremely vulnerable to volatility and it's likely that this major event will have an impact on its price. The world's biggest economy releases non-farm payroll results for July on Friday at 12.30. Last seen at the level of 287,000, the US job sector is a key indicator for USD traders. Bull or bear, this is a trading event not to be missed. Now on to our trading tip based on your frequently asked questions. What is the difference between a bull market and a bear market? The term bull market is a nickname for a fast-growing economy with a strong GDP. A bear market is the opposite, meaning a sluggish economy. Likewise, a bullish trader is someone who believes an asset's price will rise. A bear sees the downside and believes the price will fall. In terms of assets, bullish versus bearish are common terms to describe price growth versus price shrinkage. Remember to follow us on Facebook for daily updates and expert articles about the international markets. Follow us on Twitter by searching for hashtag TraderTip and check our economic calendar for more events. Thanks for watching. See you next week.